welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today, like always. And today's video is going to be my spring decorate with me. And I am so excited to share all of my spring decor and where I put it. Um, this will probably be part one of two because I still have some more things to get and fill in some areas, but I'm also gonna get you guys advice and help me decide about a few areas that I'm just not sure about yet. But we are gonna go ahead and jump right into decorating. And in the middle of the video, you'll see I spent a day decorating and then I needed to go get some more stuff. So in the middle of the video, I'm gonna show a haul of some more decor items that I went and picked up. And then I'm gonna share where I will be putting those things in the house. So stay tuned for that. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you. But we are gonna go ahead and get to decorating. So I'm just starting here in the kitchen. I'm just taking down Valentine's Day decor and I'm gonna kind of rearrange the countertop a little bit. So I end up putting my caraway pots and pans here, right here in this corner. And I'll show that a little bit, but it really just kind of opened up the kitchen counter for like when you walk in and you just don't see like as much clutter on the counters. And I really like the way it turned out. Here, I'm just deciding <laughs> if I wanna like change where my coffee maker is, but I end up putting it back in the corner cause that's just like my favorite spot for it to be. Um, but I just really love the way the kitchen turns out because it's just like super sleek and all the colors are very neutral and it's just like kind of calming whenever you walk in and see it all. missed my video where I talked about where I got all of my decor from I will link that down below I got most of the stuff from Target and really most of the stuff from the dollar spot I love this little spoon rest I got I originally wanted to prop it up with my cutting boards but it would not stay up so it actually worked out perfect right here on the stove but I love the way that the cutting boards look together with the bunny cutting board it's just so subtle and cute and I love the little bunny I got from Hobby Lobby except for I went to grab my cutting board the other day and um, it broke so I need to super glue that back together <laughs> thankfully it wasn't that expensive but um, yeah it wasn't very practical to have that sitting there when I used the cutting board and I just kind of did a little bit of rearranging just to kind of make the counter space more efficient. So I moved my knife set over and then here by the air fryer, I just put my little canisters and 
everything just turned out perfect. the kitchen turned out super cute um, I did end up not putting the big glass face on the island like I had planned to I might do that in the future I didn't get enough stems so it really kind of had me brainstorming about the idea that I had and I ended up putting that one glass one with the stems by the couch you'll see in a little bit but I just didn't want them them to be matching because you, right when you walk in you would see both of them so I'm trying to think of something different for the glass face on the island. But um, here I'm just doing my um, circle tray on the coffee table and I love how simple this was. This was the perfect spot for my little gold bunny. I absolutely love it. Um, and then I am just gonna take down all these Valentine's Day gnomes and it really took me a while to figure out what to do with this space, but you'll see later on the video, I'm gonna do my haul of the new home decor I got and then I end up doing just, to me, the perfect thing for right here and I love the way it turned out. So definitely tune in for that. It's closer to the middle to the end of the video. So you'll definitely wanna see that because I really enjoy the way that it looks. Okay, so I went to the store because I just had some more things to pick up and I still haven't got everything, but I think I filled in some more space ideas. So I went to Home Goods and I found this lamp. You guys know I've been really wanting a like bigger, nicer lamp. So I'm going, my plan is to put this on the TV stand. So we'll see. And just a little bit when I get to decorating this stuff where I actually put it, but this was on clearance. They had a few lamps on clearance. This was $29. The thing is like a little wobbly, but once I get it like set up right, I think it's gonna be fine. But I just really want some more lighting in here anyways. So instead of putting it on the side table, I am going to put it on the TV stand just for some height and fill in some space. And I've kind of sat it over there and I really think that I'm going to enjoy that. So on the other side of the TV stand, I'm going to do this like candlestick collage. I keep going back and forth on what to do over there, but I picked up some just different textured candlesticks. I got this from Hobby Lobby and it was $24.99 and it was 50% off. And I also picked this one up. Um, they, I don't know. This one was $16.99 with 50% off, but it's kind of tying in to this, which I already had. It's silver and like it's kind of, you can't really tell, it's kind of rustic. So this one's kind of rustic and then but glam. So we're gonna see what all of those three look like together. 
and and then I just got a few of these to sit on top just to you know make them real not just like candlesticks only um also at Hobby Lobby I got this little wreath I initially was going to use it for my pantry but I decided to move the wreath that I was hanging up under my tv in the living room on my pantry door and then since that space is bigger I'm going to use this bigger wreath to just kind of fill it in so I'm going to fluff this out and hang it up there and I really think for now, that's gonna be okay. Once I get it all laid out, I will get you guys advice in the comments on what you think should go in the empty space. You will see. But I also went to Bath and Body Works since I haven't been in a while. So I just thought I'd share what I get there. I got this like loofah, it was 450. And then the rest is candles. So I got this candle, which I love. It's called Laundry Day. It smells delicious. It's so clean. And like, I love the smell. Like I can smell it almost in the hallway, like the apartment complex of just like, I can smell when people are doing laundry. And I love that smell. So this smells like that to me. Like when, like when you're outside and you can smell the dryer. I don't even know. I don't even know, but it smells so good. And then I got two bigger candles. They've really stepped up their game. Like, look how sleek that is. And I just love the Fiji white sand scent. And then it's so summery and like, I love the color of this candle. So this will be pretty somewhere I figure for spring, just super neutral. And I'm very excited about it. And I can't, I'm gonna light all of these today, for sure. And then I picked up this pretty one. It is just hibiscus waterfall but it's just got like the gold accent on it. I figured it'd be pretty for spring and summer. And it's very clean. Um, it doesn't give off a very strong scent at all, but I just wanted something just like a little bit cleaner. And so that was my little haul. I just wanted to share it with you guys because like I said, I was decorating and then I was like, okay, I definitely need a few more things before I can finish this video. So I went to the store and really most of this is just like plain home decor, but obviously like it's going to be up until Christmas and then I will just add on to the decor because I really never got the chance to get just home decor because I when I moved in here it jumped right into fall so I'm really excited about my lamp I feel like a lamp just makes the space more cozy and feel like home and I'm just so excited to like turn it on and for it to be in here and it's just going to make the living room so much more welcoming I'm really excited about that but I'm going to decorate all of this stuff and show you guys how it turns out in the end of the video. I'll kind of do a little tour of everything and where it's at. So I'm gonna get to decorating. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different all right so please let me know down in the comments what you think of this space um i really like it it's just like simple and then the lamp really 
I love this lamp. I love lamps in general, and it's just taken me forever to buy one for in here, but it really just kind of makes it like home in here. I love turning it on. Um, so let me know if you think this space needs something else. The only other thing I can think of is maybe something very long in between the candlestick collage and the lamp, but I just couldn't find anything to fill that space. And I feel like with having the bigger wreath there, that it kind of makes up for that but let me know what you guys think and now i'm just doing kind of like my front porch you know front door thing putting down my welcome mat it feels so fresh out here i love it um yeah i love the way it turned out and here i moved my the glass or not the glass the gold vases from the living room in here and just kept it super super simple in here always keep it simple in my room um and then as i like see things in the store that might fill this space i will do that maybe some more like bunnies i don't know i love the just incorporating these bunnies for spring um they're eastery and really spring for me let me know what you guys think i feel like bunnies are like i mean they're definitely both but i like them for like my regular spring decor so i'm just vacuuming the glitter out of this from the valentine's day hearts and just kind of leave this empty just to not like clutter the space but um i hope you guys are enjoying the video so far let me know what you guys think down below So originally I was not going to decorate the bathroom today because I really don't think I have enough decor <laughs> to do anything, but um, the bathroom was like super, super cluttered when I first came in here and I was like, I just want to just make this look better. I don't know. So I put this tray from the living room in here and just filled it with this candle that I got that smells so good from Bath & Body Works and I found this plant that was up in my closet in that box I was talking about. And it worked out perfect to go right behind the candle. And I really like the way it looks, but this is just like my little tray of things and decor in the bathroom. And I don't know, it just makes it feel a lot more organized in here. So I am glad I went ahead and did this. And then of course I have the little wreath to hang above the toilet, but I think it's all just the perfect touches. And let me know what you guys think of all my spring decor so far. Um, if you made it to the end of this video, please leave me a orange emoji because I would love to know who made it to the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I appreciate all of your love and support and I will see you guys next week. The bed, no matter what I do, I'm still young.